Hello and welcome to another Dr. VoIP Tech Tip. My name is Brian Crail. I'll be providing instructions for installing the Personal Call Manager through Active Directory. The benefits of an Active Directory installation are it's a simplified deployment. We don't need to have our end users installing software. We don't need to give them administrative rights. And for us as administrators, there's no need for us to go desktop to desktop. This makes it very scalable in, in large deployments. In this module, we will cover the Shortel installation files, where to place those files so we can push it out through Active Directory, how to configure that group policy, and then how to verify and test our configurations. So here we are, we've downloaded our Shortel call manager files to our Active Directory server. We're actually just going to copy all these files and place it on a distribution point. Now, so you don't have to go through and, and, and set up the appropriate permissions and, and, and things necessary for the, for the uh, distribution, we can actually just use the sysfall folder since it's got the appropriate permissions by default. We're just going to cut and paste and, and, and have these files in there. Now we're ready to dive into our group policy and actually start making some configurations. We're going to go in through Active Directory Users and Computers and actually set up a new container so we can identify the computers we want we want this installed. We're just going to go to new and then organizational unit or OU. We're going to call it Shortel Computers. Excellent, excellent. So at this point we're actually going to take some computers, move them over, move place them in our Shortel Computers organizational unit. Right click and we are going to be able to configure the properties for this organizational unit. Group Policy tab and you can see right here it's blank. Well we're going to have to make a new group policy. So we're going to select new, call it Shortel install and then select edit. So the software installation is done on the computer basis. So you, you can see that you've got two options, either per user or per, per computer. So first step we need to do is for this default installation, we need to identify a directory where, where it's going to look for these files we need to right click and go to properties on this group policy and then identify the uh, the location where it's going to be we can either browse there or you can just type it in right here now it's important to note that this needs to be a network share it cannot be c colon slash windows sysfull that's a very common mistake and uh, so it's really important that you make sure this is a network share. Apply and OK and there we are. Editing the group policy to push the personal call manager software is very simple. It's important that you follow the correct steps or it won't work but very simple process. We go to the computer configuration section expand the software settings and then highlight the software installation. You need to right click and go to properties and we have to specify a default path location and this is going to be that our sysfall folder of where uh, where we place the the MSI file. You can either type in the network share of the file or you can browse to it. We're just going to hit apply OK and we're off and running. Now we need to select new package to install. 
and you can see that we have the Shortel MSI file from our step earlier. Select Apply, OK. Refresh the screen. You should see that the path location is a network path and the Shortel Call Manager software right here. Let's take a look at our Group Policy Management Console as there are a couple more settings we need to verify to make this work here. Let's expand the domain and go to our organizational unit that we created earlier. You want to make a note of that the group policy status is enabled and that the, it is link enabled as well. Here's our group policy right up below our organizational unit and this is where we're going to we need to add in the security filtering a section for computers because this is a computer based configuration. We're just going to go to add find domain computers and apply it to the group policy field. Let's move over to a client workstation to verify that these group policies are being applied, maybe issue some troubleshooting commands, and visually verify that the call manager software is being installed. GP result is an excellent command for verifying that a group policy is, is correctly applied and uh, to, to our workstation. The syntax is GP result space forward slash R for report and you can see that it gives us a high level of detail as far as security permissions and policies applied to the computer. For our Active Directory installation, we're going to want to f we will need to focus in on the computer settings and the section specifically for applied group policy objects. We will look for our group policy that we've created in this case I've got the PCM install group policy and that's the what's pushing out my personal call manager. Next tool that we'll want to focus on is the GP update tool here. The syntax is GP update forward slash force and what this does is it forces our computer to go out query the domain controller and verify its group policies if there are any problems with group policy replication, the output of this command is going to show that in the in the logging that, that that's produced. In this module, we've identified the Shortel files that are needed for the Active Directory push. We've identified a distribution point where we can that has the appropriate permissions to, to get those files to the desktops. We've set up our Active Directory group policy. Then we've gone over to our client machine and verified that those group policies are being, uh, being applied. If you just follow these simple steps, there should be no problem with, uh, with pushing Active Directory out through your domain. This has been a Dr. Voip Tech Tip with your host, Brian Crail. For more information, visit our website, www.drvoip.com. Thank you.